planet Earth. Or as the rest of the Omniverse call it, the Orb of Dreamers. The occupants of which spend so much time asleep and dreaming. Their vast imaginations humming away, charged with creative energy. Where does it all go? Up through a cerebral umbilical cord where it collects and melds with all the other dreamers' energy. And something wonderful happens. It forms a world an ethereal dreamscape of adventure and possibilities. An abstract plane of beautiful wonderment just waiting to be explored. And you can go there now. On the little big planet, you're a little sack person. This one is you. Oh, bless. You're quite a cute one. Now, to move around, use the left stick. Just push it a little for dainty tippy toes, or push it all the way to run like your sacking depends upon it. And don't forget your three J's. Jump, jump, jump. Give the action button a short, sharp press for a small hop, or hold it down for a huge, boundy leap. On you go. Before we conquer the new, we must defeat the old. What's up guys and welcome to Let's Play Little Big Planet 1. This game has a very special place in my heart as without this game, this channel would not exist. I made this channel to play this game. And now, nearly five years after, I have my official Let's Play of it up. What, what, that doesn't make any sense, right? Well, back in about 2010, I made a full Let's Play of this game. And it was one of my most successful Let's Plays at the time, but due to copyright issues and a number of other dif different things, I ended up deleting the Let's Play, unfortunately, and that makes me sad. So I thought, with Little Big Planet 3 coming up, when's a better time th t than ever, than right now, to Let's Play the original one, to get ourselves hyped up, to get ourselves down memory lane, so that we can remember the old, and be prepared for the new, and have a good darn time. So let's get into Little Big Planet for the PS3 that came out back in 2007, an amazing game by Media Molecule, of course, and this little introductory thing is sort of a mixture between a tutorial and an opening credits. Of course, we can see the people who made the game, all this kind of stuff. And for me, this is just going to be a little walk down memory lane because everything about this game I love so much. And not to harp on any of the other Little Big Planets because they're all equally as amazing, but this one has a special charm over them all. When it comes to the simplicity and the attractiveness to it, it does have its own charm to it that none of the others have been able to replicate, and that's not a bad thing because the other ones have their own thing that makes them so special. But this one has one as well, and I love it. It's because it wasn't as complex as Little Big Planet 2, it has that sort of charm to it. Like, somebody really did make this with their own bare hands, and in some senses, they did. And I love that. And that's why it really is really great opener to the series. And I'm so excited to be playing through it for you guys again. And look at all these nice portraits of us. <laughs> now, you probably want to look stylish and sexy as you're gadding about Little Big Planet. So you need to know how to get your kit on, or how to put your glad rags on. Press the menu button to access your poppet. Now the poppet is the most useful tool since some Swiss bloke welded a knife and a screwdriver together. So let's have a Sammy Shufti. Hmm? Use the left stick to go through the various icons on the poppet main menu. Press action to choose one. For now, choose Customize Character. This takes you to your Customize Character pages, where you can have a rummage about to find a new style of sack material. Use the left stick to select something that says, Hey, I'm a sack person. Get used to it. This is also your little big boutique, where you can peruse myriad fashions. Some magic, some tragic. If you're in one of those moods where you simply can't decide what clothes go with your ears at the moment, just select this icon. 
which randomly chooses some gad rags for you. To get out of Poppet, just press the back button to go back a level. And press it again to close it completely. Oh, you're going to be the talk of little big planet in that get-up. Either that or a laughing stock. Okay, so that's how you make your own costume. I'm sure many of you know that. But we'll be going through the tutorials, but you'll find an annotation if you want to skip them. Anyways, you might be asking, Zebra, where the heck is your stinking zebra costume? And the thing is, is that... To play through this game with all the collectibles and have the real experience of unlocking everything, I started a new profile just for this, so that we can experience the game in full and unlock cool stuff, all that kind of stuff. So you might know that in original Little Big Planet, you don't unlock the zebra costume until the next area. So we'll have to get a little creative on what we want to look like. And that sort of brings me back as well, because back before I was zebra, I played Little Big Planet. And we always made our own custom characters, me and my sister. So we're going to go through and sort of make our own little character here. I'm going to make one called, uh, let's call him Mr. McGee. I don't know what his first name should be. Ah, oh, let's put him in the, oh yeah, here we go. <laughs> and then, of course, where is, where's the facial features? Did I miss some? Yes, I did. I need this mustache. There we go. This is very similar to a character I made way back when. And here we go. <laughs> here we go. Here's Mr. McGee. And we'll be playing as him for a little bit. Why don't we continue on, though? And he... Here's us! Hey! Introducing me! Yay! And I'm, I'm so excited to be playing this game. And I, I just... Oh, it just... Everything about it feels nostalgic, and I'm so excited to play it with you guys, or play it for you guys. I'm not playing it with you guys just yet. Okay, it's time to shake things up a bit. If you tilt the wireless controller you're holding, you can animate yourself. Press the left stick to alternate between moving your head and your pelvis. You can change your sack person's expressions too, using the directional buttons. Come on then, give us a little smile. Press the up button. Come on. There, see? You're happy. Press the down button, and you'll become down. Look at you. A face like a smacked bottom. Press the left button and you go all worried. <gasps> what was that? Press the right button and you get all cross and tough. By holding down the limb buttons, you can use the sticks to control your arms. Yes, you can stop being mean and moody now. We're all very impressed. <laughs> ah! McGee smash <laughs> and this is Little Big Planet. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like and showing me your support because I would really appreciate it. Your pod is a cross between your bedroom and your first shed. It's the place you'll chill out in between adventures and excursions, and you can have it exactly the way you want it. The controller that thing back there is your pod computer, your inventory and access device. Switch it on by standing in front of it and pressing the menu button. Okay, so now we're in the pod, and how we do this is very, very simply. Um, if you've ever seen my Little Big Planet 2 Let's Play, you'll know exactly how we're going to set this up, or even a little bit of my Little Big Planet Vita mini playthrough. If you were to stand on Little Big Planet, and try to imagine a more astounding, fantastic, and creative place full of enthralling adventures, uncanny characters, and brilliant things to do, you couldn't. All imagination is here, and what you do with it all is entirely up to you. Build new levels and expand the environment. Collect the many and varied tools and objects to make your mark on this world. Just simply enjoy the people and puzzles they've set. Little Big Planet is the manifested embodiment of your perfect dream world. So let fly your imagination with just a touch of the action button. Well, you're not backward at coming forward. 
you've gone to meet one of the creator curators. They tend and maintain Little Big Planet when you're awake. This one is the king of the gardens. Press the action button to see what he's got for us today. Okay, so let's go into the gardens by the king. This is a Little Big Planet seal. No, don't give it a fish, it's not that kind of seal. It's a badge, a map reference, if you like, to indicate somewhere wonderful a creator curator has made for you. Select with your action button and explore. Okay, so how we do Little Big Planet Let's Plays on my channel is we'll do two levels an episode. We already did one, so here's number two. First Steps by the King. All right, and oh, the nostalgia, these backgrounds, it's all so good. Hello and welcome to my gardens, all my own creation, with a little help from my wife, the queen. A big adventure awaits you, so good luck. I like how it doesn't really even tell us what the adventure is, what's wrong, you just have an adventure. <laughs> but I don't know, that's the simplicity of this game, and that's why it has this charm to it. Hi, I'm Dumpty. Show me you running around, running and jumping skills then. Remember, hold down the X button for a longer jump. Okay then, Mr. Dumpty, don't tell me what to do. Ah! <laughs> and we knocked him down. I love this game. Oh man, it's so funny. And there's no, there's no king's horses, no king's men. Where are they? We knocked Dumpty over. I guess he's not getting back up again. <laughs> and I love this game so much. Like, I can't even explain it. And I wanted to ask you guys. Like, how much of a connection do you guys have with this game? Click the score bubbles for points. Five or more in quick succession earns you a score multiplier. Because this game, it feels so weird to say, came out like seven years ago. And that's really, really crazy. I was 11 years old when this game came out, and now I'm 18. So it's like, whoa. That's a long time. <laughs> so it's like, look at how much the world has changed. But still, this game is still awesome over After all that time, it's still so much fun. Jumping into the screen is automatic. Try jumping up these hills and you'll get the idea. I find it funny that they have to explain the uh, the layer system in such a weird way. It's funny how they explain all this stuff like it's new because at that time it was. To jump down, just push down on the L and press the X button. Okay, so we know how to do this. This is this is noob stuff. We're not noobs. We're Little Big Planet veterans just going for a, a joyride throughout the game again. But this story is prop. I don't know. I honestly feel like this story is a little more enjoyable than Little Big Planet 2's Maybe it doesn't have as much of an adventure feel, but it just, I don't know, maybe, maybe it's nostalgia fooling me. Watch out for the lethal looking water, and this, this is before the DLC. This is before the water DLC, because the game didn't really have real water, as you can see. And the water would kill you. It's interesting. Okay, we get all the points on the little spin wheel. <laughs> Oh man, I, I, I just, it's so much fun just playing through this. Prize bubbles contain useful items. These are full of costumes that you can customize your sack person with. So here's our more costumes. We're not really gonna worry about any of these. You might wonder how I have some of the costumes I already have if this is a new save. This is actually my Game of the Year edition. This is my Game of the Year edition disc that I got. But um, if that means that I actually have some of the interesting DLC. So if this Let's Play does really, really well and you guys still want to see some more Little Big Planet 1 action after the main story mode, I could definitely go and uh, play some more and do the DLC, like the Metal Gear Solid DLC, all that kind of stuff. Uh-oh, I don't want to be trapped in the egg. He's trying to make me one of his own. Run! <laughs> oh man, it's, it's just so classic. I love it. It's one of PS3's best for sure. It's weird to feel like PS3 feels like such an old console now. Oh gosh, let's jump over this. Oh no, the bridge fooled me. Oh, okay, it's a tutorial. Now, occasionally you're going to get stuck. It's nothing to get upset about. Don't go hurling your controller at the cat, because it might throw something back and it'll only escalate. And then, oh. If there's really no way out, press the menu button to bring up your poppet. Using the left stick, select the try again icon. Then press and hold the action button. We'd like to say no little sack person is harmed during the playing of Little Big Planet. We'd like to say that. <clears throat> anyway, another cute little sack person will appear at the last activated checkpoint.
I can kind of just sit here and dance during the tutorials. But yeah, if we ever get stuck, we can always just implode ourselves. And we're fine. We are a-okay. Alright, so let's uh, run to the right. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 like, I, don't, I don't even need this game to get really hump for, pumped for Little Big Planet 3. You heard nothing. But um, uh, it's... But I feel like it was worth it, because I don't have my vid any videos on this game, and the game deserves some videos. Pleased to meet you, I'm the Queen. Please decorate this card character with stickers for me, and jump on the red button and learn how. Okay. Collecting stickers is the height of cool in Little Big Planet. Press the menu button to bring up Pop It, and go to your Stickers and Decorations page. Now swirl. Peruse and marvel at the sheer overwhelming splendidness of your collection. Then find the one you want with the left stick and choose it with the action button. Let's stick it to something. Move it around the world using the left stick, like this. Use the right stick to change its size and rotation up and down to make it bigger or smaller. Left and right to rotate it. Then stick it down with the action button. If you have a keen artistic eye and want to mirror image your sticker, press the right stick and use the action button to stick it down. Oh, yes. Very Andy Warhol. Remember, it's the back button to get back to your poppet and choose another sticker. Then move it around with the left stick and stamp it down with action as many times as you like. When you're finished, press back to go back to your pocket, then back again to get to the main menu, and back once more to close it. Terrific. Okay, easy enough. It's a little over explaining these tutorials, but I mean, better than nothing, right? So we just get our sticker here, place it on this guy, and we just wanna do this, and then this, and there he goes. He's gonna run off over here. What's he gonna do? Is he gonna just walk up here? Is he gonna be able to knock this wall down for us? Down with the wall! We have no barricades. Okay, so, oh, oh what are these guys? Ah, chipmunks! All right, and they give us a bunch of points. All right, thank you, Mr. Chipmunks, or Groundhogs, or whatever the heck you guys are. And right, now we have another interesting uh, tutorial. If you are lucky enough to have a PlayStation Eye, then you can have lots of fun with these items. Okay, let's get these. These are pretty useless to us, but worth the pickup. If you have a PlayStation Eye camera plugged into your system, then firstly, mm, get you. Secondly, did you know you can use it to put your very own personalized, stylized, right between the eyes, pickies and designs into your stickers? <laughs> it's true. Bring up your pocket, then open your stickers and decorations pages, and go to the PlayStation Eye camera page. Find a shape that ignites your imaginative firecracker, and select it with the action button. Use the left stick to move it around, then when you're happy, stamp it down with the action button to capture the moment in your scene. And also, into your My Pictures page. Uh, nothing rude, though. No images of horses in bikinis, for example. That'd be just plain wrong. <laughs> so no, no me in bikini either, because I'm a zebra, a distant cousin to the horse. Well done. To finish the level, all sack persons need to stand in front of the scoreboard. Let's see how well you did. Okay. Level complete. Hooray! Which one's us? Bunny ears. Oh boy, the big kiss. Hooray! We don't get the ace, actually, because I guess we had the reset, we had to kill ourselves. I don't know if you can ace this level or not. The garden concept's cool. We got some cool stuff for beating this level. But there we go, our two levels completed for this episode. I love how it zooms up, I forgot it did that. And we'll be planning two, it doesn't do that, but in this one, it zooms into your face after you've done the level.
You're very impressive. You must have visited Little Big Planet in your dreams many times before, have you? Well, you can either retread your steps and improve your score, or visit this new place you've discovered. Use the left stick to choose whichever option floats your boat. Okay, so in the next episode, we'll be doing Get a Grip by the King. I'd like to thank you guys so much for watching, and remember, if you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like, sharing it with your friends and family, and commenting your thoughts, because your support really lets me know that I should continue making these videos, and it really helps spread our big little... <laughs> our little big plant family here on the Zebra Gamer channel. So thank you guys so much, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.